Hello everybody and welcome to Makeover Monday Watch Me Viz for week 7 Valentine's Day special. We're looking at what the point is of Valentine's Day. The original vi visualization comes, uh, comes to us from Statista and uh, it's pretty simple, just a little bar chart. Um, I do like the title, What's the Point of Valentine's Day? And then the subtitle tells us clearly what the, um, what the bars represent. So we see the blue uh, men are in blue, the women are in pink. Um, I'd be careful with using blue and pink because it's uh, it's kind of stereotypical. Maybe that's why they're using slightly different shades. Um, and yeah, but uh, the bar chart's relatively simple. The the way that they have it organized with the men and the women paired together makes it easier to compare the men to the women. If you had all of the blue bars and then all of the pink bars, you would then be comparing uh, the men across the categories and the women across the categories. So the way it is designed right now is you want to compare within each of the of the questions or each of the points. Um, other than that, I think it's good. The big giant, uh, you know, heart kissy thing. I think that can go away. Yeah, it looks cute, but you know, what value does it add to the visualization? Uh, I'd I would say none. So let's, uh, yeah, let's, let's get to it. The data set itself is quite simple. We just have the, the question and then the percent responses. So let's go ahead and go to sheet one. <clears throat> um, we're going to, I'm just going to start by just rebuilding the bar chart. So I've got the men as a bar chart and the women. And I'm going to do it this way just so I can... Um, I want to go ahead and set my colors at the very beginning. So I'll just set it to entire view for now. And uh, to make it look like theirs, I'm going to sort the point by the field. And they have it sorted by the men. So uh, let's see. So, okay. And is that right? So the men is uh, 29%. The males, okay. So let me just show the labels, 29%. So I'm going to go ahead and set the default number format for the men and the women to be a percentage to zero decimal places. I'm also just going to go ahead and default them to be the aggregation to an average just in case later on I bring in another data set. Um, so average, average. Okay, there we go. So now we're good to go. And I'm going to go ahead and assign some colors. So I'm going to put measured names onto the color shelf. And let's pick out some colors here. So let's find a good, uh, maybe I'll go to the, uh, let's see, let's find some good colors here. Uh, let's see, why don't I actually go to, let me go to, uh, let's see, data viz design. I'm going to go to couleurs. And maybe I'll just pick the first two colors that it uses. This is a great website for uh, picking colors, so generator. Let's see what it comes up with initially. Uh, okay. Okay, got it. And how it works. Okay, so let's see. I don't really like those colors, so I'm just going to hit the space bar. Um, hit it again. Greens, purples, blues. What colors? Maybe this orange. <clears throat> so let's copy that code. And let's use that for maybe the men. Okay. And then uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to lock that color in. And then when I hit the space bar, it's going to give me complementary colors for that. So um, what if I do, so it's a bit dark, maybe like a purplish color. So let me try that. Let me see how these two look together. Or like a plum color. Okay, that's not too bad. It's not terrible. Um, all right. And... All right. Uh, oh, Tommaso is listening in. He should be working on his makeover Monday. He's in the data school right now. So, Tommaso, um, you're in trouble. Right. So, okay, that's one way. So this is just our... I'll just call it my bar chart. So this is comparing the men to the women. What I was trying to say earlier is if I duplicate the sheet and I switch measure names and the point around, this now allows me to compare the points within the men and also to compare the points within the women. So you can kind of do it uh, either way. Um, yeah. 
So let me go back, let me resort that. Oops. So this would be the other way. So if you're more curious to know what men ranked one, you know, one through ten, and then what women ranked, or not one through ten, one through seven, you could do that. Uh, and then you see it that way. So I think what I could do here, if I if I do rank and then uh no, I don't want to do that. That's not gonna work. Um okay, we'll just leave it like that for now. So that's just the, the second option. So let me, okay, so let's build a, some other comparisons then. So let's look at the point. Let's look at the, the oops, uh, the men and all color. And let's put the women as a reference line. So for each cell, I want to put the women as the reference line. And then for the color, I'm just gonna use that same one as before. Untick the recalculate and entire view, and now I get something like that. Um, yeah, not that great. So I'm going to call this bar with reference line. All right, not that's not really that great. So okay, let's keep going. So let me see. We've got the men. Let's put the women on the same axis. Move measure names to color. Okay, and then what we could do is we could do maybe a bar inside of a bar. So let me see the entire view. And I need to put measure names on size as well. So this lets us compare the men and the women. I think I'd rather have the dark, the lighter color on the, on the outside. Again, doesn't look very good. So that's my bar in bar. Um, okay, uh, so, uh, uh, Kian, I don't uh, celebrate Valentine's Day. I think it's a pretty stupid holiday, actually. Uh, okay, so let me go again. So let's do the point. Let's again do the men and the women. Put that on to color. Oops. Measure names on the color. Can make them circles. And then let's make this one a line. Put that online, and then if we duplicate or say dual axis and move to front, so we get something like that. And uh, what I could do now is I could color code the the uh, the line. So if I create a new calculated field, and I'm going to say men greater than women, average of men is greater than the. Actually, I just want to say men not greater than women. That sounds kind of sexist. Uh, put that on the color of the line. And now we can see, you know, when the men are greater than the women. So I'm going to match the colors here. So the, uh, the false should be that color. And then the true should be this color. Okay. So now that helps us see which one's, uh, which one's greater. So this would be our barbell. And then if I duplicate that, there's a lot of these are going to look the same as, as last week. I'm just going to go to my line and maybe make the size a bit bigger to make it look like kind of the peas in a pod look and put a border around my circles. So we get something like that. Oh, I forgot to synchronize. Synchronize. Okay. So this is my, uh, let's call these enclosed uh, dots, I don't know, whatever, call it whatever you want. So this now shows the, and you know, maybe I create a parameter, let's call it my sort by, and I'm going to make it a string, and let's make it a list. So then, let's see, women. Okay, and then show parameter. And what I want to do here is I just want to create a sorting field. So sort, sort, sorter. So if uh, sort by equals men, oops. Uh, then men uh, else women and 
Okay, and then I just want to sort my point by whichever one that gets picked. So descending by my sorter. Okay, there you go. So you can see this is now sorted by the the uh, the women, and we sort it by the men, and we get something like that. So showing how much you care is the highest for both of them. I guess that's good. Is that what the original shows? Let's see. Is that right? So she, yeah, so showing how much you care. Okay. Um, but there is a big gap. So men prefer, men's biggest gap is sex. No big surprise. Uh, so let's call this our variance. And I'm just going to say men uh, minus the women. Okay, so let's do another new sheet. The point, uh, the variance, something like that. So that's the, the difference between the men and the women. Um, but I could, okay, so then if I sort that, so this then helps us see how much um, so if I put variance onto color, I could maybe do the, let's see, cancel. I could make this that orange and make the other one the purple. Where'd that go? Make this one the purple. Okay, we get something like that. <clears throat> um, yeah. Uh, uh, which, uh, so men versus women. Okay, nothing really inspiring me yet. Um, okay, love the dumbbell cookies. Okay, um, I think so far, I, I mean, even just the bars themselves, I think are, are not bad. If I want to make it look even more like the original um, I'm going to get rid of my grid lines, and I'm going to get rid of my zero lines, get rid of my row divider and my column divider. But now what I want to do is I'm going to go to my shading, and I'm going to increase the shading on the, let's see, this is always a pain. No, I want to do that level. There we go, like that. And then what I could do is I could format this to be maybe in this center. Now we've got something that looks more like, like the original visualization. So maybe we right align those, middle, right. And I could even maybe shrink that over. There we go. Um, now one other thing that <clears throat> I don't like how the men and the women is repeated here. So I, I may end up, if I were going to use this, I'd probably end up doing something like theirs. Um, the label, I would match the mark color, maybe make it, you know, 14 point, uh, maybe tableau medium, something like that. I think that actually looks pretty good. All right, um, let me keep going. So maybe I could do something like, a, let's see, so we got that. Maybe I'll do something like a waffle chart, but to do that, I need to bring in a new data set. So let me connect to, I'm gonna to need to connect to the Valentine's Day data set again. Okay, so I'm gonna call this Valentine's Day with waffles. I would probably have waffles for Valentine's Day. That would be a good, a good, good Valentine's Day present. So I'm going to pivot these first, and I'll call this one the gender, and I'll call it uh, what do they call it here? Um, I'll just call it uh, response, response, right? And then I'm going to add. A, oh, what happened here? Oh, I just messed up my, what happened here? Oh, okay. I thought I messed something up. So more, let's see. And I want to look for waffle chart template. Uh, let's see, this one here. 
Okay, so to do a waffle chart, <clears throat> I'm going to use what's called data densification. So I'm going to, I need to show, if I want to show 100 circles for each of these, I need to have, a, I basically need to take each row and have 100 of them. So you'll see in a second. Uh, so I'm going to bring this over here. And I'm going to use a calculated join. I just need to make sure that A equals B kind of thing, or actually A equals A. But I'm not joining on any particular field. So if I close that now, um, and I, uh, let's see, I think that worked. Let's see, did that work? So let's look at the data. Okay, there we go. So if I look at, um, for example, gender and then point. So you see for the sex field, we have a hundred, we have a hundred rows for that. So what I'm going to do now is make my columns and rows, um, dimensions, split it up by gender. And I'm going to make these circles, maybe put the point here and let's create a new calculated field. Men, uh, let's say, no, I want to say, um, uh, response color. So I want to say the response rate average Oh, repons. No wonder why I couldn't find it. it. Is less than the average percentage. I'm doing the average percentage because there's a hundred of them, and I don't want to uh, duplicate it. So let me rename this field. It should be response rate. So if I put that field on color now, and I'm going to put the response rate onto the tooltip, you'll see here. Uh, let me format that default properties number format percentage. Okay, so here in the men who say sex is most important, you'll see 25% and there's 25 dots colored. So you could do something like that. Um, what I might do instead is maybe make these both continuous because then the, this, the, uh, I can get this, let's see which way is better. Because if I put this on a dashboard, let me see here. Da, 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 where is it here? Let me get rid of that and I make this fit entire view, I get something like that, which doesn't look particularly great. So if I make these both continuous, I get something like that, which isn't any better. So I'll go back. Um, okay, I can, let me go back here. I'm gonna hide the headers and take it out of the tooltip as well. So. Check show header, include in tooltip. Maybe rotate the label, hide the field label. Okay, um, and then I'm gonna also put gender on detail and add that to color. So now I get, uh, let's see, the gender, I'm gonna do it around this way. Okay, so for the men, <clears throat> I want again, I wanna use this orange, or let me just start with the women, I want that purple. So women, uh, so yeah, 8%. So I'm gonna make this, this color purple. And then I'm going to maybe look at the shadings. Let's see, view shades. And I'll do maybe a lighter color. So maybe CAA 5 b Okay. Let's see how that looks. Okay, it's okay. I might need to do something else. <clears throat> um, and then the men, let's copy that. Uh, and then I need to pick a shade. Maybe I'll go really light here, FEE70S. -E Maybe I should do that for the women as well, so FEE. F zero E uh, oh boy, hope I can undo. There we go. Okay, that's not it's not great, but it's also not terrible. I really want these to be continuous because if I do 
then it'll sort those circles to the bottom. Although I could probably sort this. Let's see, let's sort that uh, descending. And that should move the circles to the bottom. Okay, there we go. So now you'd have to make this dashboard like huge to get it to, to look any good. So yeah, so I'm going to not do that. Okay, so what else could we look at? So we've got the point, we've got the, uh, let's see. I could probably go back to this data set. Let's make the point, let's put the gender. And if I just put the response rate on, this needs to be average. Put that onto text. Um, I mean, really, you could even just make this a view, you know, I don't know, table. I'll call that table. Don't like it. Uh, let's see, what else could we do? So we've got, um, I want this one to work, but um, but I think it'd be hard to, <clears throat> to maybe write a title about this one. Um, Um, okay, that, that, what else could we do? I still like this one the best, just recreating the original. Is that a cop out? Um, so let me change the alias sex. Uh, so by gifts. Dinner, try to impress. Maybe I'll just say impress. Try to, yeah, I'll just do that. Try to impress. Receive gifts. Uh, treat yourself. Um, show you care. I'm just trying to make these a bit shorter. Um, I don't know, am I, am I copying out by doing something simple like this? I don't think I am. So, <clears throat> okay. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate this and aliases and I'm gonna clear them. And then the point I'm gonna put in the tooltip. Okay, so now I can see, yeah. Uh, so let me take this one out of tooltip. Okay. Yeah, there we go. So show how much you care. Okay, I probably don't even really need the tooltip, but um, so I could maybe include the sorter here. Do I have my so sort? Oops. So sort, <clears throat> and let's do descending by my field uh, sorter. There we go. So this is a bit, this is, so now I'm sorting by, what am I sorting by? Sorting by women, men. Okay. So now what I could probably do is, okay, let's go here. And if I create a calculated, let's see. No, what I want to do is, uh, let's say men women like this, put measure names there and move that to detail and measure names onto text. <clears throat> I'm gonna to try to set up a parameter action and see if this works. So, okay, so let's make this maybe 14 point and centered on the center and center, okay. Um, so if I show this parameter, okay, so what my, what my parameter is going to do here, so let me just choose a single value list, or my dash, what my action is gonna do. So I'm gonna set up an action. It's gonna be a change parameter. So update sorter, 
uh, update sort parameter. So I'm going to update the sort by field with measure names. And when they clear it, I want it to just keep it. Hit OK, hit OK again. And now when I switch this, it should switch between, oops, it switches between men and women. OK, so that's working the way I want. Um, no tooltip. And yep, so, OK. Um, but what I could do is, so this is my men sorter, and then duplicate women sorter. Okay, and I'm gonna put measure names on to color as well. Okay, and then on this sheet, I'm going to hide the, oops, I wanna hide the men. And then on this one, I'm going to, what happened there? measure names, color, and this one I want to hide the women. So now on this sheet, if I click men, it should go the men, and here I click women, it should switch it over to women. Okay, because I'm going to use these in the in the title, I think. So let's see, measure names, aliases, men, women. Okay, there we go. So format, orders, um, so where is my row dividers? That's fine. Copy formatting and then paste. Oops. Copy formatting, paste formatting. Okay, there we go. Okay, so let me just kill this sheet. And I'm going to start with a vertical container and put that at uh, let's see, zero, zero, 1,800. I don't need it to be that big, so I'm going to adjust that in a minute. So my, I'm just going to do the bar chart. I'm going to end up getting rid of this men and men and women thing here. Uh, so layout, tiled, horizontal. Okay, so I don't need that. Okay, so my padding, set that to zero, set my inner padding to like 20. Okay, all right, and let me just go ahead and, <clears throat> so. Um, okay, so let me hide the field labels, uh, worksheet, clear, manual sizing, okay. So, <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to show the parameter and what I'm going to do here is let's float. I'm just going to show you what that's going to do. So let me make this a uh, single value list. Or, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Um, delete. OK, so what I'm going to do here is my dashboard action. I'm going to set up a change parameter action. So update sorter parameter. And I'm going to allow to update the sort by with the measure names field. And now if I click on women, click on men, okay, so it's not switching. Um, so let me go to the sheet, measure names, what is going on here? Okay, dashboard and actions. Uh, so it should be passing measure names to the bar chart. Um, 
Run it on select. Okay. Um, Um, so, Simon, your question, could you show how to change the axis labels font to bold to highlight the top points and the others remain non-bold? Um, so, you, I think you mean whatever one the maximum is, make that bold and make the other ones non-bold. Um, yeah, let me get this fixed and then I'll come back to that. Uh, I don't know why my parameter is not updating, which is quite annoying. Uh, that's okay. So what I'm going to say is, um, let me go back to the original. Um, and how um, most important to, let's see. Okay, now I need to do this, so hide title. And I'm going to bring in a horizontal container, oops. Okay, so I'm gonna bring in a text box. Um, okay. <clears throat> And then I'm going to bring in the women's sorter. Okay, so I'm going to bring this over. Okay, text. And What I'm trying to do is make it look like this is part of the title. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's go here to the layout. Okay. This looks kind of crappy, but Okay, so Okay, so Simon, um, there's three important reasons from the seven. I want to make those. Yeah, yeah, I understand what you mean, Simon. Um, just let me try to finish this part first. So let me edit the width and let's make this maybe. I'm just trying. Okay, so that's not right. Okay. Okay, I'm just trying to make this look like a, a better sentence here. Okay, I think that's better. Um, so let me go to this text and let's make it bold. And let's do the same thing here. Okay, and now I can hide the headers. 
Uh, but now this looks a bit funky because the sheets aren't, the words aren't aligned anymore. Why does Tableau do that? That's so annoying. Oh well. Um, maybe it's a different font size. This one's 15. What did I use here? Oh, that's why. 15. Okay. Did I, I could have sworn I'd change the men. Yeah. See, doesn't the men look like a smaller font? I could swear that looks like a smaller font. Am I going insane? Is it just me or does that font look smaller? The men font looks smaller than the women font. It's what the hell? God, this is really annoying. I'm just trying to get these fonts to look better. Okay, that's better. Okay. Um, so the idea now is, so dashboard actions, and I want this to be based off of any of these sheets and the sort by, okay. So if I click on the men, why is my stupid parameter not updating? What the heck? I want to update the sort by parameter with the field measure names. And it works here. Now it broke here as well. Worksheet action. So it's not that. Something happened with my parameter edit. Oh, I think it's because it's it's passing the uppercase word. Oh, that's annoying. Aliases. Let's clear. There we go. So because I was doing it in uppercase. Okay, so let me just change this then. Actually, I'm going to go back because I like them in uppercase. So what I need to do is I need to just change my my calculation for my sorter edit. So this needs to say men in uppercase. Okay, let me see here. Oh, this is like crazy annoying. Okay. Um, uh, let's see. So, alias is clear. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to type the word men. I 
let's see. Du -du 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 -du. Where are my colors here? Okay. Okay. Then I'm gonna make that on detail. And then make this text. Oh, what happened here? So this needs to go on detail. Okay. So hopefully this works now. So if I click on men. Come on. Okay, dashboard, actions, select, measure. What the hell? Okay. I'm just going to undo for a while here. Okay, so now I'm I don't know why this isn't working. It's quite annoying though. Is that not working here? There we go. Okay, that's fine. So now I need to go back to my chart and sort. Oh, no, that's fine. That's still sorting by the sorter, which is okay. And then, uh, but I need to change this to say men. Okay, now I'm getting somewhere. So one other thing maybe I could do is if I make this sheet, so let me format this sheet. Let's go to background. Um, to see how this looks if I do it like that. Let me see if this how this looks so women's sorter. Okay, so now I need to make it so that when they click on something, okay, so that's all working. When they click on something, it doesn't um, 
highlight it. So I need to go to here and let's call this my D clicker and I'll give it the name Eva. And I'm going to put that onto detail. I'm going to make sure there's no borders on. Okay, that's fine. And then same thing here. And then same thing here. Oops. All right. So now dashboard actions. So let's see. Might want to do a filter action. So remove bar clicker. So I'm going to go from the bar chart to the bar chart. Select. And I want to go from my D clicker to you know, the point, whatever. So what that should do now is when I click on one of these, it just deselects it. There we go. So that's good. And then dashboard actions, remove women clicker. Call this women's sorter. And then one more. These are on select. Okay, so now when I click on one of these, it's going to sort by that field. Okay, so that looks good. So format animations. I think this will look better with animations. So on, and let's maybe make them slow. Okay, I think that looks pretty good so far. So I better save. And let's see, make it for Monday, 2021, week seven. Uh, what is most important on Valentine's Day? Come on. Okay, great. So I could probably, oh, I like that. Let's make this 260. I'm just trying to get it over a touch. So it looks, oh, that's too far. Okay, something like that. Okay, so now on the women's sheet, I think what I'm going to do is format borders. I want to see if I put row and column dividers on that are like thick and white, will that make them stand out a bit? Hmm. Oh, that's not too bad. So women and then the men's sorter. Let's make it thick and white and then thick and white. Try to make it a bit more obvious that they can that they can click on these things. So edit width. Let's make this one 105 and edit width, uh, maybe 70. Okay, something like that. Okay, and then let's put the padding back in the left. All right. Um, okay. And then, do I want to? <clears throat> All right, so I'm gonna save that. And then I think the question from Simon is what he wants to do is he wants to be able to bold, let's say the first, um, 
the first two within each and then have the others a regular font. Okay, so I, uh, I've got a couple minutes, so why don't I... <clears throat> <clears throat> Make sure you always save your work too. Um, okay, I think this one must need to be a bit wider. There we go. It's weird because you see how this one has a really light colored, see the orange on the side of this? It isn't like lining up right. That's so annoying. Oh my god, that's going to drive me crazy. Well, I don't I don't know if you all can see that, but the the to the right of the men on the border, it's like messed up. Like the right side of the men doesn't show the right thickness. God, it's so dumb. Okay, so let me go here. Um, come on. Okay, so what we could probably do is, uh, let me see. So rank, color, let's see. Let's see, top two, color. And I want to say if rank of um, top two men color average of men is uh, let's see less than or equal to two then I want to bring back the average men okay <clears throat> So let's see what happens. I'm just going to try with the men before I try with anything else. So if I put this on, I would need to put, I'm going to need to put measure values onto label. And then I'm going to need to put this onto label as well. Okay. Rank men color default properties, number format, percentage. Okay. So 29, 25. Okay. So. Edit table calc, and we want to do it separately for each one. So, it doesn't really matter what that does. So, let me move this to detail. Okay. But that's going to give us, yeah, so the problem here is we can't use measure names in a calculation. So that you see how it's giving me the same the same value on each. So there'd be a way to do it if you pivot the data. Um, come on, but the rank function won't help us there. Um, let's see how else could I do it. Uh, Yeah, I, I think that's going to be probably the, let's see, so let me, yeah, so I, I Simon, there'd be a way to do it, but um, I would need to pivot the data the other direction. Um, so let's make this maybe 11. Okay, let's put that on back to our, okay. All right, so um, the other thing I need to do is I need to tell the user that they can click on something in order to uh, drill down to sort. Um, okay, so maybe what I'll do is I'll bring in a text box, uh, click uh, gender to sort. Okay, and yeah, okay, layout, and what happened to my inner padding here? 
so this one I'm going to get rid of my top because I want it to come down a bit. Okay, so now if I click here or if I click anywhere, it's going to resort by that. Oh, ah, shoot. But now my animations don't work because of the way that I set up that uh, deselecting. Ah, crap. Okay, so let me dashboard and actions because I like the animate the animating. So remove, 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 but I need to do it as a highlight instead. So highlight uh, bar and bar chart to the bar chart selected fields declicker and then highlight uh, highlight uh, women and then highlight men and then the men sheet Let's see if that works. Okay, so now if I click on, okay, so that didn't quite work. Okay, so dashboard, actions, let me just try it with the men first. So, I think I wanna, maybe I need to do it that way. Okay. Yeah, that's probably okay. Uh, dashboard, worksheet, dashboard actions. I'm going to remove it from this bar. And then all. Oh. Okay. I think that's fine. All right. Um, I guess that's it. I'm going to stick with that. Um, and I think that's about it. So dashboard. Let me see. I wonder if I, I'm going to go back here and in my point. So alias is, let me clear. And let's see what that looks like. Okay. Okay, I think I am done. Um, that is good enough for me. Maybe I'll make the bars ever so slightly more narrow. So there's a bit of room in between them. Let's see how that looks. No, I don't need that. Okay, so go forward again. Okay, um, what I was thinking is, should I have a bit of space in between these? So if I wanted to put a bit of space in between them, I think I can go here to my totals and put on my, I can't put my column grand total. Uh, Okay, there we go. So now I can, oops, I need to turn my tooltips back on momentarily. Click command buttons. Okay, so. I don't know if this is going to look any better or not. No, probably not. 
I was just trying to get some space in between the bars, but that looks terrible. Okay, um, and now, of course, my sheet doesn't fit. Fix the height. Okay, there we go. Let me fix the height. Okay. All right. Any any last questions here? Um, I don't. I created somebody created a slope chart. Yeah, slope chart would be very good with this. How about a donut chart or a radial chart? Um, you could do a radial chart. Yep, there's a very good uh, blog by Ellen Blackburn on the Data School website for how to do those. That's the one that I always refer to. Um, if I remember, I'll put a link to it in the in the notes. Um, but yeah, I guess that's it. Thank you everybody for coming, and I hope you enjoyed the session. And if you have any feedback, uh, please let me know. Leave comments on the video. I find them very helpful, and it helps me plan these in the future. That's it. Everybody have a wonderful week.